Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm out in the front garden because inside it's very loud. I, I might just take them off a second. So yeah, this video is going to be a Halloween transformation. I'm actually very excited to do it. And today we're gonna be doing- <laughs> Ew, it's wet. <laughs> it's wet and cold. So anyway, I'm gonna hurry this up. So today we're gonna be doing the first section, which I'm not gonna tell you just yet, although it probably is in the title. But anyway, yeah, I'll see you in a second when we get to it. <laughs> Okay, so I've decided that blonde doesn't suit me anymore and um, before I can go black, I've got to experiment, so <laughs> we're going blue. We're using the L'Oreal Palace Colorista Permanent this Gel. L'Oreal Palace. L'Oreal Palace. L'Oreal Palace. What shade is it? Silver. Silver grey. And then we've got two Bleach London Blue Leany shades. This is the next 10 part series of me dyeing my hair. Should we go to the food? <laughs> I think that's what you look like with a fringe. <laughs> Can I be on the, on the cover of Vogue? That's obviously like a hairstyle. You like you see chaps walking around. With What's that position? Like this. this. Oh, they go like that. <laughs> they go like. Oh. oh. Once we went to our grandma's house, yeah. <laughs> and I just dyed my hair red, bright red. Yeah, and I thought it looked really nice. No, it's I really liked it. It was really pretty. And we walk in, <laughs> and the very first thing she said to me was, "Oh, your hair looks horrible." <laughs> and I went up and up. <laughs> I went upstairs, shut myself in the bathroom, and cried. <laughs> If I come out of this with bleached eyebrows, I'm gonna get you in the face. <laughs> it's burning my eyes. I need some sunglasses. I don't think that's gonna help you at this point. Whoa, whoa, it's blue. I mean, it's ugly, Oh, I've got blue. bleach in my cut. One sec. It's <laughs> because we're not just gonna sit here and kill my wig. It's so ugly. Oh! <laughs> just let my hair talk. Wait, go on. Ew. We're, we're, we're fucking leaving it for 25 minutes and then and then we'll be back to, to wash it out. So yeah, goodbye. I don't like this. <laughs> it's so bad. Look how dark it is. Jesus Christ. Grainy then. Oh, fucking hell, the floor's freezing. You need heated floors. No! <laughs> I do. <laughs> Your hair smells nice. How does it? It smells like bleach and crickets. Hot. We're done! Ta da! Okay, we're waiting for this to do its thing, but I've lost my glasses and I don't remember how long I've been blind for, so I have no idea where they are. <laughs> so far, it's looking like shit. Okay, this is it so far. I'm very uncertain. To say the least. It's not really... I don't know why I do this to myself. I don't know why I decide. I always think, right, I'm gonna do my hair. It's gonna look fucking amazing. And it's gonna be everything I ever wanted. And every single time I come out like, Why do I do it? <laughs> and I still do it, so... Well, I've officially reached the peak of my life. I've got a bin bag on my head. Hey guys, so shut up. <laughs> okay. Um, first thing I just wanted to say is that Juice Burrs needs to sort their fucking apple juice out because it tastes like fee. Anyway, yeah, so it's the first day of my blue hair and I actually feel really good. At first I was feeling proper shit. I was like, oh my god, my hair is disgusting. But apart from my absolute puffy mess of the hair that I already have, I actually really like it. I feel quite Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm literally about to leave and I'm panicking because my friend's waiting for me and I'm like, Ugh. Anyway, yeah, I'm actually really happy with it. Why do me? No, look how cute he is. He's the best. Good old Lawrence. <laughs> I think you've upset him. 
It's very bright, but um, I'm actually on the way to get my nails done today. So I've actually never had my nails done before, so I'm a bit like, don't know what to expect, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So yeah, also check out my new earrings. I got them yesterday. This is literally the fanciest place I've ever fucking been to. Look, there's a bloody chandelier. And look at the bloody down. If you've never had a sort of caramel brownie from Martin's, then you're missing out. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Before I get into my makeup and outfit, I bought a little face mask and it's gonna make me look like a dragon. So that in itself is like a Halloween costume, so. I'm still learning how to function with my nails. I did actually alter them yesterday. I got these little like a pentagram on it to go with my Halloween costume and I didn't like the way they were sticking up so I just filed it and then put a top coat on but I think they look a lot better now. They don't look good on camera, I'm not gonna lie. Seriously though, I really quite like having nails. I feel like a bad bitch. This is everything. <laughs> Halloween costume complete. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend <laughs> i didn't get like a costume costume because i read a thing about how like bad halloween costumes are for the environment so i picked out some things that i think i could wear whenever you know if i'm feeling a little edgy that day so i went to a but I didn't go there, but I got um, stuff from Pretty Little Thing, Thing, and um, for the top I got this, it's Red Devil Horn Slogan Jersey Thong, I think it's pretty cute and I think I could wear it whenever, it's a bit on the nose because, you know, I'm sure you can tell why, it just says devil on the front and it's a bodysuit and it actually feels really soft, like, oh. And to go with that I got this tall black vinyl zip skirt and I got it in the size 12 so let's just pray that it fits me <laughs> it is like <laughs> this is wild but anyway yeah I guess I'll go try this stuff on and then I will show you how it looks oh no I did get one more thing <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it but let's go so I thought it would be quite cute to have a little um, accessory thing. So I bought these tights. They've got skeleton legs on them. So um, yeah, I thought it would be quite cute to have some little skeleton legs. I tried them on. Seemed to be some child size. And I, I'm just... <sighs> on the website, right, it says one size, which is fine. But on the picture, it shows like some sexy lady just like strutting around with them. And then, and I'm a short person, right? I'm short, so there is no reason why they shouldn't fit. But I will try them on and I'll show you how ridiculous it is because it's quite funny, but yeah. <laughs> Me at the club. It is a noisy skirt. I will give it that. <laughs> but I did forget to mention, I've got these little um, horns. This is a very, please excuse my room, it's not. Just hide Lucifer over there. But yeah, this is my costume. But yeah, I think it's really cute. I'm quite happy. And I think that's like proper, ooh. I don't like how it looks like from the back because it kind of sticks out a bit weird. No, it's very nice. This is very soft and I'm very happy with it. But anyway, yeah, I guess we should get on with the makeup. What the fuck? These are the littlest legs I've ever seen and I'm so annoyed because why would you advertise it as, as adults? This is not an adult sized anything. <laughs> Do you ever just have one of those days where your makeup just won't go right and you don't know why? <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I'm sorry if you could hear beeping because the builders are just going wild today. All I've done is put concealer and a little bit of foundation on. So yeah, now we're going to get into it. Okay, I'm going to use this Glossier Cloud Paint shit. Oh, I'm an idiot. 
<laughs> that came out a lot faster than I thought it would. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the James Charles palette, if I can get in it, and use the red colour to just go even darker. I'm just going to take a smaller brush and ooh, use a little bit of that to go under my nose. So I think we're going for like a, um, it's on fire down here and I'm a little sunburnt. Or oh, crispy. <laughs> I'm a little crispy. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm thinking is it'll be like red in the centre and go out to like a dark and blue like my hair. So let's just try. I can't even open this bloody palette with my nails, it's wild. <laughs> you know what, if you're still watching at this point, let me know what you're dressing up as for Halloween, or what you did dress up as. It did mean a lot to me. Okay, now we're gonna go into the red and pray, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so that's the eyebrows done. I think they look alright. Um, no, they don't. Okay, um, yeah, we've, 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 we've done brows, I think. So next, just a bit over there. I think they'll do eyeshadow. So um, um, I went to Superdrug the other day, and um, even though I wasn't supposed to spend any money, I ended up getting this palette. It's like a Halloween palette. Well, it's by Revolution. So yeah, this is the palette, and it looks really nice inside, I'm like, oh, like, it is a pretty palette. So yeah, um, I'm going to be using that, and let's just do it, I guess. Okay, so I think first we'll go into the shade Lucifer. Seems fitting. I don't think I've ever had a palette that actually has a mirror on the inside. Then, to just darken it up a bit, I'm going to go into Monster and do the same thing again. I just feel like I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> Next, we're just going to go into Survival and darken it up even more. I'm playing with fire here, I'm really scared, I'm just going to like ruin it completely. <laughs> trying to see because like colours really don't get picked well but picked up well on this camera and it's really upsetting. Now I think I'm gonna go in with Motel, that one, <laughs> and because this one looks really cute. And just stick it there. Okay and then I'm just gonna go in with Monster again to just sort of like redden it. I might just use Motel and drag it out a little bit. I'm gonna get Survival and 
darken it right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a little brush and use survival to go under my eyes. Uh, I'm just gonna go into Monster and Motel and like mix them together and just add some of it into my eyebrows to like. I'm just trying to think if I move the camera around a little bit because. Oh. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, um, actually, do I want to make it even darker? <laughs> I might just go in a, with a tiny. Actually, that's a shimmer. I oh, need to put something here. Um, I think I might use the shade Attic and go in here. <laughs> the ponders of an artiste. <laughs> um, we'll go Attic. I think I'm gonna use my finger though. And then I might just go in with Phantom, just to like, lighten it up even more in the inner corner. Oh yeah, that's cute. So yeah, really like this. Uh, this isn't a review, but like, it looks so cool. I had to get it, because I just like Halloween, and it's got some pretty shades in there, so I'll definitely be messing around with that in the future. So I just wanted to add, actually we'll keep that out, because I want to use the mirror in it. <laughs> I'm going to put this blue, in my waterline, so. This is what I mean, I can't. <laughs> do we do eyeliner? I feel like it would be weird not to do eyeliner. Just, you know, this is what it looked like. In case I just go ahead and ruin it now. <laughs> You know what, for me that's pretty good, so I'm gonna leave it. Like, I literally can't talk while I do it, it's so scary. <laughs> I haven't even put any highlighter on yet, but that's just... Ooh, that's curl them. But yeah, this week I've been putting eyeliner on every day because I really want to get better at it because it terrifies me. To like the core. Yeah, I think I'm getting better at it, slowly but surely. I will say though that the one that I just used then, the uh, NYX Epic Ink Liner, is definitely like my favorite one when i'm doing my mascara like there's a part in um shane dawson's series where he's practicing with makeup and he goes and he's doing his mascara and then all of a sudden he just sticks it in his eye and it plays that like sound effect and it fucking kills me every time i was literally crying because i just it just feels so relatable <laughs> so now every time i stick it in my eye which i do all the time i imagine that sound effect since I don't have a highlighter that I really like, I'm really tempted to use the Phantom shade in this palette because it looks really nice in my in a corner, so let's do that. I've been using like a bigger brush than usual for my highlight and um, I've been liking it. See, why is that nicer than any highlighter I own? Okay, it's seriously coming to an end now. Okay. But we've done it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the finished look of this entire video. It's been like four days in the making, but yeah. So yeah, this is the finished look. I have not decided what shoes I'm gonna wear yet. If I even go out. But yeah, it only took 10 years. So yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun filming it. I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of fun editing it, but hopefully I'll get it out today. And yeah, happy Halloween. And I hope you have a good one. So I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, and this is the outfit I'm gonna wear while we're not going anywhere. It was, okay, I'll start. It was like, 
floated that up and then it stopped and then it turned to face me and then it just started floating down again. You guys, this is my outfit. <laughs> Why the fuck's it? What is that? Bye.